negotiate uh, the layout somewhere. Right, and some safety play sure. a little bit. So, well, maybe four gave him a slug. <laughs> <laughs> all right, right, here you, we go. Here's one thing you don't want. You don't want to scratch. You don't want to make the cue ball jump off the table. Make sure you make contact with the one solid. You don't want to... Ooh, he... The one's going to go to the center of the table, possibly. We got a few clusters. Not much, but I mean, it's something. You well, know. the seven and an eight at the other end of the that's table. The eight precludes yeah, the seven for pocketed, that's being pocketed in the, in the upper left. And he's starting off with a, f a fairly thin hit on the one to the position of the three at the other end of the table. I don't know if the angle that he has on the one suggests that it's natural position. Maybe he has to uh, he's spin going it somewhere. No, he's drawing it underneath the seven and eight here. He's drawing it underneath there. He got around and gave him no, a shot. No, he gave him a shot. Now, Ray is... the nine ball here, Billy. No, I don't no, think the angle's No out. nine here. No nine here. He's going for it. If it was up another inch, he could have drew it into the nine because the three was their yeah. position anyway, but right, it's exactly. not the way it turned but out. There's no nine here. Here's it. This is a tough shot. you got to kind of, like, a slow roll this. Not real slow roll. You're going to go into the nine, or you don't have to go into the nine, but you're not going to hit this ball hard. And like naturally, you want to hit the ball hard. I like his chances here. Well, you got to like the shooter's chances, but believe me, this ain't no easy shot right now. I've He's got a funny bridge off the cushion where it's laying. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, 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 and when you're hitting down on the cue ball off a rail like that, the ball can swerve if you hit it a little bit bad. He's going to hit it so where the cue ball will then go maybe into the nine or possibly a quarter of the way back up table. Yeah, but look at what happens. Oh, well, you that see? was the problem. He didn't, not, he didn't have the feel at that moment to, to go ahead and slow roll it, so he opted to go ahead and cinch it. That's what you're supposed to do, though. By cinching it, he you now has another table. problem to deal with later on, but I guess it's a, it's a fair trade-off considering you want to stay in control of the table. And we're getting what we wanted. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he's he's not going to shoot this ball. Unless he can make the four ball, he's not going to shoot this. He's just going to draw and he's going to oh, shoot this ball. Here's one of them spin shots again, the bing shots. The bing. Ooh, does he hit these shots good? Perfectly hit. That's like Wimpy used to play. Remember Wimpy? Luther last Do I remember to, Wimpy? Who yeah. could forget Wimpy? Well, if the people haven't seen him play before, I mean, that's the way Luther used to play all the time, spinning the ball and pinching. Now, in my opinion, this is probably the best finish that I've ever seen, or for that matter, anyone has ever seen in a major event in a final match. You want to make sure you go into the nine here. Just draw it straight back just a little bit. Just a little bit, I said. What? He didn't have to do that. You see what I'm talking about? Mm, that's right. Now, uh, why did he do that? Because he wanted to make it even more thrilling. No, but if he just pinched that ball a little bit, it would have stopped right there. Just a nine would have came over the same way, and he would have been right well, there. Well, he figured the push. nine was going to go into the six, and he was going to move the six. Well, he might have figured that, yeah. He must have figured that, otherwise, why would he shoot it like sure. that? Sure, see, now he even pointed like he was supposed to move the six. With his finger, he could have moved it, but the nine, he didn't. Well, he's got, he's got, he can see pretty much of a full ball in this five ball. So, he, I mean, he's going to set it up table, and this, this whole game depends if he can get it behind the six ball. And there's a possibility he may even be able to bank this five up table. You know? Maybe, That yeah. shot's available, Maybe. and then he can use the six as an interfering ball. Yeah. If he pockets the oh, bank, I... if he pockets the bank, he'll have the six to shoot. Well, no, he didn't. Uh... Watch the eight. Watch the eight. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. Now, the position Strickland should have been in, Reyes is in that position. And, uh, but he's in a worse position, Billy. He can't even go to the left-hand cushion because there's no access to the five on no, the side. Seven. The seven is the interfering ball. Yeah, he goes to the left. He precludes him from kicking in that fashion. He can't go to the right because there's no cushion there. Phew. He's in big trouble. He's in big trouble here. The short cushion is the only cushion he, is, he can go to. Oh, oh what a bad oh, roll. Oh, oh, horrible roll. Horrible roll. Horrible. He's gonna, he, he might be able to go back and forth here. I mean, that's what he's looking at. I don't like that because you're going to leave a shot. Yeah, you're not going to get movement from the fireball right. if you're able to contact it. And it looks like the, the short cushion is the only cushion he can go to. Behind the six. He, you know, he kicks balls. You know, he could nip the five. In other words, going to the left-hand cushion, just missing the seven ball, nipping the five, and coming three cushions back down the table. I think he... He's going twice. I don't twice like this shot because you're gonna, you, you don't get no movement, like you said. You, and you might miss this ball.
Look at Earl's Strickland. Put the camera on Earl's Yeah, Strickland. Earl's even clapping on that Put shot. Put the camera on Earl's Strickland. I don't believe it. Short fans, you have seen everything. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. That Jeepers. Well, that's why they call him the magician. There you have it. But he's not out yet, though. I've seen funny things happen. And he's following a little short yeah, of the mark. Now, short. He, now he has to go two oh, cushions. Geez. Or draw with one cushion. I think, I don't know. He's got a, he's got a funny angle. He's got, he's got to force it and make sure he doesn't force it into the corner pocket. He's got a funny it. angle. Oh, the suspense is still there. Yeah. I'll tell you what, this is the rack that we wanted to see. We got everything we wanted. And he's more. He's drawing one cushion. And more. Right selection here, I think this is. Perfect. He's That's there. It. He's home. He's home. What a finish. What a finish. What huh? a finish. Yeah, you couldn't get no better, man. Oh, no wonder you asked me to do this. Oh, what a finish. Uh, and, and I really have to commend Earl for his sportsmanship there. I mean, yeah. he really was happy for, for Reyes in the regard that he made a ter terrific shot to steal the match away from him. Uh, he was dead in the water here. He only had two options. One, which Jimmy and I both disagreed with, but obviously we were wrong, especially when you watch the outcome of this shot. This is Hill Hill in a race Don't to get 13. no better than this. Look it at this. He doesn't. hits it. Perfect. Oh, my goodness. What a shot. And what a time <laughs> to come with a shot like that. 